Okay, now uh, this is uh, another patient new scenario, very very common. It has come so many times. Uh, you are uh, you are a doctor in the hospital where a child has been brought in and is uh, uh, is diagnosed as having anaphylaxis. Talk to the patient. Uh, so the child is uh, diagnosed already with a peanut allergy. The patient, uh, the patient's parents were trained to provide EpiPen, but they could not use it. This is a second episode when the child has come with anaphylaxis. It says, "Go and uh, speak to dad." The child is accompanied by dad. Okay. Uh, there is another way the scenario is being asked when the child presents the first time it um, the child was never diagnosed with the peanut allergy or any other allergy so it says go and um, speak to dad provide them training on using how to use epipen okay uh, so these are two different situations slightly different we will talk about them individually let's talk about the first presentation when the child is not uh, diagnosed before okay this is the first time the child has come to the hospital and now you have run the investigations and uh, uh, he is found to have a peanut allergy uh, the child is ready to go home go and speak to the patient's dad and explain how to use epipen when you go in the station go greet introduce yourself okay and check the identity of the patient as well as of dad or whoever is sitting with the child uh, can be mum can be dad okay um, and before you start talking about teaching epipen find out their own understanding first of all find out how Joshua is doing okay hi mum I'm one of the doctor here uh, my name is uh, Dr. Raza and uh, I just wanted to, to see you. It's a good time to have a chat. Yeah, all right. So uh, nice to see you, man. I uh, just want to talk about uh, Joshua. How is he doing? So you're going to start from here. The mum says, oh, doc, yeah, he is better. Yeah, okay, very good. I'm happy to know that. Okay. Uh, now, the next thing is, I just want to find out what happened. Do you, what do you understand? Uh, would you mind if I ask you how did Joshua come to the hospital? What happened in, uh, this time around? Okay, uh, the mom would tell you about the signs and symptoms if he knows, or the dad would tell you about about the presentation. So you need that information to take as a starting point and the reference for dad for the future discussion that you are going to do in the next three, four, five minutes, okay? So mom says, oh doc, uh, we went out and uh, we were having some food and he all of a sudden, uh, he started uh, feeling very unwell, started um, vomiting, he became very blue, he couldn't breathe really. So just sympathy, empathy, okay? This is very good time to inject the sympathy and empathy and uh, just acknowledge their feelings and stress, okay? Show that actually that you are feeling empathic about them. You have the sympathy uh, by, by, by putting their, uh, their emotions in verbal language. I can see that. Yeah, I really appreciate that. can be very stressful, okay? Uh, I'm sorry to know that you, that Joshua had to go all go through all of the stress. Okay, uh, all right. So then, what did you do? Oh, then I called the ambulance. Excellent. Now this is a time to appreciate. Very good. You did the right thing, and um, then what did you? Um, what did we do? What do you understand from that? Oh, Doc, uh, uh, someone told me that uh, he was uh, reacting to peanut maybe in the food. All right. Okay, very good. Again, this is a time to appreciate. Well done. Yeah. So, uh, you have very good understanding. I really appreciate. Uh, now, uh, as you mentioned, as we can also see that Joshua is 
well and he's ready to go home i'm really glad uh, how are you feeling about it mom says oh, i'm happy now yeah very good uh, then you move forward so today the reason i want to talk to you or see you is uh, that we can plan we we means me and you together as a team okay so we want to plan how to look after the child or joshua when he is out of the hospital okay so uh, this is something very important anaphylaxis is uh, actually he had the anaphylaxis did you know what anaphylaxis is mom says dog i don't know what the anaphylaxis is okay uh, let me tell you in few simple words anaphylaxis is a worst form of reaction to any medication or to any substance on uh, it has a wide spectrum of symptoms on good side uh, the patient usually develops some rashes and itching however on the bad side the patient can develop serious symptoms as joshua had now this is a time to refer to the same symptoms that the mom mentioned in the beginning the dog he could breathe and he was blue he was vomiting so you can refer to those symptoms okay because mom already has a framework the she already has a basic understanding of the of the incident okay so on the bad side or on the worst side the patient can develop serious symptoms as joshua had as you mentioned to me and if left untreated this condition can be life threatening okay so that's why i just want to make sure that we all understand not you we all understand okay that joshua can develop serious complications if he develops a reaction to the allergy so how to prevent it is by protecting him from, by contact avoidance by allergen avoidance so make sure that he does not eat anything containing uh, peanuts or sometimes a patient may develop even by touching so the reaction may come even by touching them so we have to be very careful now okay uh, the second thing is if somehow he develops any symptoms we need to give you epipen epipen is uh, uh, this is epipen have you heard of epipen ever the patient says yes doctor mom says yes okay uh, may i know what do you know about that and mom says no even if they say yes i know uh, all right very good uh, it will be easy for me to teach you then and just um, go through them quickly okay but it does not mean that you you never tell that okay oh if you already know i don't need to no no so you still have to just simply appreciate oh okay very good so if you know about it it will be easy for me to go through it quickly okay uh, so epipen is a single use drug delivery device okay it is a single use drug delivery device and it has a life saving medication as you mentioned about the anaphylaxis anaphylaxis is a life threatening condition and epipen at the same time is a life saving medication okay so if you suspect uh that joshua is uh, going to develop the similar problem as he had before if give this epipen okay so you should give it even if you suspect you do not need to be certain you do not need to wait for the symptoms to develop to, to that stage that the that he starts uh, breathing difficult he develops a breathing difficulty he starts throwing up feeling nauseous and he becomes blue you do not need to wait okay give it even if you suspect do not worry it has a medication that will not harm him if anything it will save his life okay so uh, let me tell you now about the epipen epipen uh, whenever uh, we uh, we see any situation where joshua is not feeling well we need to give him epipen epipen has a two parts one is a blue end and the other one is the orange okay the blue end has a blue cap it is actually a locking key okay so it it is a locking key this end has a needle inside which is covered 
and uh, before we use it we need to make sure that we hold it appropriately the best way to to make sure that we are holding it right is uh, to make sure that we can read it uh, read the english on it okay you need to hold this in your fist firmly okay making sure that you are able to read the english written on it okay so or the other way to memorize it quickly is uh, uh, blue to the sky and orange to the thigh okay that's the other way uh, what you need to do is before you use it make sure that you check the expiry which is uh, uh, which is given in this red window okay in this red part and there will be a clear window here on the actual pen this is a trainer pen uh, in the actual pen there will be clear see through window where you should be able to see the color of uh, the medication it should not show any color at all if you see any color it means the drug is not good to use so if, after confirming the drug is not expired uh, the pen is not expired and the drug has not changed the color hold it firmly in your hand okay uh, blue towards a sky and orange part towards the thigh okay and remove the locking key to make it functioning if you do not remove this it will not work okay so it is very important that you uh, you remove it the next thing is uh, after you removed it bring it to the side of the thigh about 10 centimeters away from the thigh okay and then simply press it against the thigh until you hear the click okay so after you hear the click leave it for five to ten seconds you do not need to worry about anything uh, you can remove it and uh, after you remove after you take it away you will see that this orange part has come out uh, it will keep the needle covered so that it does not harm you or anyone else uh, around okay uh, now the other things that i want to mention is uh, you do not need to uncover his thigh you do not need any private place you can use this epi pen even without uh, removing the clothes and make sure that you call the ambulance 999 and tell them pediatric anaphylaxis or child anaphylaxis i suggest you to uh, just rehearse this word a few times because it this particular word has their own meaning so it will uh, stimulate the action it will start the action quickly okay the response will be very quick if you use this word in particular so uh, simply call 999 and say child anaphylaxis the ambulance will come to you as soon as possible we will give you another uh, we will give you two pens you you need to keep all of them both of them together all the time wherever joshua goes and if you, you if you need to use one make sure that you call the ambulance and wait for five minutes if you feel that joshua is not getting better use the epi pen again the similar way okay and while waiting for the ambulance if you see that joshua is not feeling well and joshua starts uh, has started vomiting then simply lie him down and turn him to to the side so